Hey, my name is Denise Brennan Nelson, and I'm so excited to share with you my newest book called May the Mayfly. Near the bank of the river, one warm spring day, a new life began, and her name was May. Mama held May in a warm, tender hug, then said goodbye to her sweet baby bug. You have your whole life, a day, perhaps more. Don't waste it, May. Use your wings and explore. Her delicate wings were feathery light. With a flit and a flutter, she took off in flight. There was so much to see and so much to know, but a dangerous thing was lurking below. It was big. It was hungry. It needed to eat. A newly hatched mayfly would make a great treat. Disguising its dark and deceitful sneer, it pleasantly said, Come closer, my dear. I have something here that you really must see, but you're too far away. Come closer to me. A voice inside her warned, May, don't go. But May didn't listen and swooped down too low. It sprang from the water, and that's when May saw two rows of sharp teeth and a menacing jaw. It snapped its mouth tight to gobble up May, but she ducked and she darted and somehow got away. May found safety in the hollow of a tree. She covered her eyes and tried not to breathe. Her body shuddered at the thought of trout. I'll stay here forever. I'm not coming out. But when her heart slowed, May heard a sweet sound. Peeking out slowly, she looked all around. A robin nearby gave a cheerful tweet, then flew to her babies with something to eat. The mist on the river was a fine pink cloak. A bullfrog bellowed his morning croak. May noticed the beauty of a web in the sun, the glittering silk the spider had spun. Mama was right. There's so much to see. I can't live my life inside this tree. So May launched herself from the dark, hollow place. A greeting from the sun put a smile on her face. May followed the river along as it flowed. She saw cattail swaying and a stubby toad. And bounding along without a care, two cubs following Mama Bear. There were bluebells in clusters offering up for hummingbird a cool drink from their cups. A newborn fawn on wobbly knees and then, in a clearing, May could see. A singing, dancing jamboree, a wild mayfly jubilee. Joining in, May danced with glee. <laughs> I love those pictures. The day rambled on and shadows grew long. Nature was singing its afternoon song. May floated along on a warm, gentle breeze when, faintly, she heard a desperate plea. With shaky wings, she followed the sound, but May stopped cold at what she found. Snagged in a mess, his body still, the only movement from his gill. May inched closer, slow, unsure, afraid again he'd lunge at her. But Trout was weak, no flip or flail. Tangled line had caught his tail. May's eyes lingered on Trout's jaw, but this time there was more she saw. The snag had taken all Trout's fight, yet his color shimmered in the light. Rainbow stripes in every hue, silver, pink, and shades of blue. May saw a scar where once he'd fought, to keep himself from being caught. And when her gaze met Trout's scared eyes, were not so different, May then realized. The fear she had felt, May now forgot, and she quickly started on the knot. The line so tight, her progress slow, but then, at last, the line let go. 
The river carried Trout away, May wondered. Will he be okay? The silence was broken with a startling splash. Scanning the river, May saw a flash. Breaking the surface and catching the light, Trout flipped his tail and waved goodnight. And then an echo on the wind that blew, two simple, precious words. Thank you. Her spirits matching the river's glow, May settled in for the nighttime show. Crickets and bullfrogs played their sweet tune while fireflies twinkled beneath the full moon. The stars came out early for sweet little May. She counted each one and called it a day. Not end. <laughs>